So it's time to upgrade the Dell Precision T7500 again. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 480 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra 2 SSD into the Dell Precision. Now I could do this one of two ways. I could just do a straight install of Windows 10 and be done with it, or I could clone the drive. We have this plastic piece, which has some adhesive on the back, and I assume that's to make it a little bit thicker if you need this drive to be a little bit thicker in your installation. Most notably, probably in a laptop. But in my case here, I'm just going to install it into my tower PC. So let's get it out of the bag here. So as you can see, you have the SanDisk Ultra 2 solid state drive, branding on the front. Everything seems to be made out of a matte black plastic. Here are the connectors. You have the power connector here and then the data connector. You have all the important information on the back and then you have your mounting points on the side as you can see which are the most important parts for me. Now again if you needed this thicker I would assume you'd put it on the back here. I assume you could put it here too if you wanted, but uh, yeah, that wouldn't affect the connectors there. So whichever side you put it on, it would increase the thickness of the SSD there, depending on what your needs are. But again, I don't think I'm going to need that because I have a bracket and I'm going to be putting it in a large machine. Speaking of the bracket, here it is. I actually did an unboxing on this and it comes with screws, which we're going to need. And here is the bracket itself. Now this bracket will accommodate more than one SSD, as you can see. Now I haven't decided here, there's a lot of dust on this, but uh, I haven't decided in this situation if I'm going to just use one SSD or if I'm going to use multiples. But there are two sets of screw holes there. There you go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my SSD and I'm going to put it into my hot swap drive reader that I installed on the machine in my last video. Now if you don't have one of these, you're going to need some way to attach your new drive to your computer. And one of the easiest ways would be to attach it directly to the motherboard. In my case here though, I can just push it in here and as you might know it's not connected on this side unfortunately and I did cover that in my previous video and you heard that Windows recognized it so that's going to enable me to actually start the clone process the original SSD is obviously attached to the motherboard and that's what's running Windows and then now I have this attached so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into disk management. So the first thing that pops up here is initialize disk. Select disk 6 and use the following partition style. We're just going to use everything default here and I'm going to hit OK and that should initialize the SSD that I put into the hot swap bay. Uh, we'll see if it shows up here. Actually, it did. It's right here. Disk 6 unallocated. So we're ready to go here. And let's see if we need to do anything. I'm just going to right click, new simple volume, click on that, make sure that it's all the way to its maximum, hit next. Now, it says assign the following drive letter. We're just going to go all the way to the bottom of the alphabet and go to drive Z. Hit next. I'm going to use all the defaults here. Format this volume with the following settings. NTFS, default allocation unit size, volume label. We're going to change that to SanDisk. And perform quick format. I'm going to hit next. Finish. And it should format disk number six as SanDisk. Drive Z, 
So let me close that out. So the program you saw here in the background is the program that I'm going to use to clone my main SSD. And the program is Ease Us or Ease US to do backup free 9.0. And this program has a couple of functions. There is a paid version, but the free version allows you to actually clone your main drive, whether it's an SSD or a hard drive. So there's a selection here that says clone. I'm going to hit that. And it brings up all the different drives I have connected to my machine. And I have several of them in this case. It lists hard disk zero. That's actually my actual hard disk attached to this machine. Then I have hard disk one. That's my secondary SSD attached to the machine. Then I have hard disk two. That's my main disk that I want to clone, my main SSD. Then we have hard disk three, which is my backup drive, and that's a hard drive. It's an external hard drive. And then we have SanDisk Z, the drive that we actually just put in to the hot swap drive in the front. So we're looking for the source disk. Well, in my case, that is disk two. So I'm gonna click on that and it selects all the partitions on that drive. So then I'm gonna hit next here. And now it wants me to select the target. So the target is SanDisk Z. So we're gonna hit that. So you have two selections here. One is optimize for SSD. I'm gonna click that because they are both SSDs. The next selection here is sector by sector clone. Might as well click on that. Then I'm gonna hit next. Now, as you'll notice, the source drive is up top here and the target drive is down here. So the screencasting is turned off. I'm gonna hit proceed here. And it says the data on the destination disk will be lost. Do you want to continue? That's fine because the destination disk is blank. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do this process here. Now it's actually, OK, you need to restart the computer. Do you want to continue? So I'm going to hit reboot here. And we'll see what happens. So we've gotten a loading please wait prompt here. And this is probably going to enable me to clone the drive without being in Windows itself. All right, here we go. Ease us to do backup. So this is all running outside of Windows. So now that we have this drive cloned onto this drive, and by the way, that'll give you an idea of the difference in width of the two drives. The SanDisk is considerably thinner than the older Crucial SSD. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Crucial, put that to the side, and we're going to install the SanDisk SSD exactly where I had the Crucial SSD. And I'm just gonna boot up the computer and see if it recognizes it as the Windows 10 installation. So I'm just going to attach this for the time being in here where I had the Crucial drive, and hopefully I don't know if you can see this here, but right now I'm gonna do the power connector. There we go, power connected and then data connected. There we go. Temporary again, you don't wanna have a drive loose in here. SSD, there really are no moving parts to it. So even if you do have it loose, like I've had this in here for, or at least I've had this one in there for the longest time like that. Not a big deal, especially since you're not moving things around, but it's nice to have things locked down. So let me, I don't even think I'm gonna button this up. I'm just gonna leave this open because I'm gonna to have to do some more work in here, but I'm going to plug it back in because I do have it unplugged and we're gonna fire up the machine and see if it works. So apparently everything is working perfectly with the clone drive. Now, let's see what we got here. Um, all right, local disk here, it says 30.7 gigabytes free of 118 gigabytes. So it is mimicking the old drive. So what I am gonna have to do, I am going to have to go into disk management. And we're gonna take a look at what we've got here. So what we have here on disk two is system reserved. Then we have the actual cloned drive and then we have the healthy recovery partition which is also from the cloned drive 
this is unallocated space. What we can do is we can actually turn it into another drive, basically another partition here. And uh, we can assign the drive letter. We'll reassign it Z. And we'll name it uh, SanDisk Partition. And then hit Next and Finish. And there we go, SanDisk Partition, Drive Z, and it should show up here. Here we go, SanDisk Partition, Drive Z. So it shows up here, and then this is the clone drive. The problem with Windows is that it's, it, it is very concerned with the, the order of things. So I can't extend this volume here, which is really what I want to do, because the, part, the recovery partition is in the way. Now, if only I could move that behind, but it's just not something I can do. So I'll look into it a little bit more. But this is pretty much going to do it for this video. I know it probably ran a lot longer than I had hoped. But at the end of the day, I got everything cloned. I do have use of the entire space, even if it is on two partitions, which isn't totally ideal, but not a huge deal, not a big deal. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, share this video, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,